What is going on everyone and welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be breaking down the Newcastle player selection that is ready to go right now and there is a couple of yeah, I suppose if you're looking again, if you're looking for a quick start and you're not looking to grind and you just want finished versions of the players that you can realistically uh, level up in a couple of uh, in a couple of days rather than getting the standard versions and have them a little bit more, you know, that you need to grind a few more levels or whatever. I mean, obviously, in the case of uh, St. Maximin, you have his standard card, which is on 36 levels, whereas this version is on 25. So if you do want to get his max rating a little bit quicker, obviously it's going to take a lot uh, a lot quicker to get these players here and then train them up. But then also on top of that, you do have to pay for these with coins compared to the standard version. So we are going to be taking a look at all the players and then we're going to be going over to eFootballDB and showing you a couple of versions of the players as well and how they compare to their standard versions, which a lot of you guys have been asking for. So we will check, uh, first up, we will check Jolington out. All right, lads, so Jolington, again, we do have standard form. He is on a C rating as well. Um, and it makes it kind of, yeah, I mean, Newcastle are a strange choice. I mean, obviously, they are working through the player selection, so they're going to have different teams. But Jolington, obviously down as an AMF. Um, he's got okay stats. I mean, he's got 30 levels to go. Uh, for me, I mean, if you get Jolington and you want to train him up or whatever, yeah, I mean, he's quite okay. Like, he's okay. I mean, he's fine. Um, he's got a couple of nice player skills. Uh, long ranger. He can play a long ball counter uh, with 80, so you don't need to really focus on his team play style proficiency that much at all. Um, and stats can go quite high. I mean, you're going to be able to get, like, his mid-80s on pretty much any stat there that is in uh, the high 70s, you're going to be able to get mid 80s to low uh, 90s in some of them. So yeah, for 30 levels, I think he is definitely worth a punt. But as I keep saying in all of these videos that we do, there are just so many players out there that you can buy um, that will be able to like, you know, if you just want to stay free to play, you'll be able to buy Pedri, you'll be able to buy... Um, Kovacic you'll be able to buy any of those guys that you know Rafa Silva any of those guys that would probably outperform any of the guys here uh, same with Pope obviously Pope he's got standard form C rating high punt and a very kind of average goalkeeper I would say for part of this now he does have 21 levels but even at that you're not going to be getting his reflexes and awareness up that high because of only having 21 levels and as i keep saying lads ramsdale is a superior goalkeeper i would say um or somebody like that or messlier who's uh, the leeds goalkeeper lafont is there there's a load of you know good goalkeepers that you can get for quite cheap so if you do get him and you are a newcastle fan obviously pope is going to be kind of exciting enough but there is only two or three players that are worth probably really talking about on this and wilson is not one of them either because he does have good speed. He does have fairly decent acceleration. Um, but that's kind of where the buck stops, really, because he's finishing at 75. He has got 29 player levels, yes. But there's just... I mean, I keep... I keep I'm keep, i going to be repeating myself for the whole video. There's just a, so many players that you can buy on the standard GP list of players that, you know, you're not really going to be having Wilson in if you are looking to win games. I mean, obviously, if you're a beast, beast of a player... You're going to be able to use Wilson. You're going to be able to use any of the players that have just like got normal stats, fairly good to normal stats. Um, but this guy, even though he's got speeding bullet, first time shot, heel trick, you know, he's not going to be a top, top striker for you, even though he does have goal poacher um, because, you know, ball control is going to let him down if you boost up his speed and acceleration. Um, his finishing will let him down if you're looking to have like kind of like a top class center forward uh, such as Haaland or somebody like that and he doesn't have super sub or anything like that so yeah um, again Wilson is probably one of those that falls into you know use if you're a fan of him or a fan of Newcastle uh, we also have Willock we'll go to Botman in a second we have Willock who is a fairly decent player actually he's got standard form but he's got track back and he has got super sub so this guy is a bit of an interesting one now because obviously when you're looking at these players you're looking for differences between them and their actual standard cards and even at that you're looking for players that can actually cause a bit of an impact off the bench for you because look unless you're a brand new player to eFootball 23 uh, or you're watching this video whenever and you're looking for you know these players with if they're still available in a couple of days time or whatever um and you're thinking whether you should open them or not any of these players if you train them up to like max out levels are going to be fairly decent uh you know because they have 
pretty much got all the same stats as the rest of the centre midfielders there. I mean, this guy's got really nice dribbling, speed, acceleration, balance and ball control. And then also on top of that, he's got nice aggression. So I think this guy could be a very good centre midfielder. It just, you know, super sub is probably gives him a little bit of a, a variety in his card that he will actually be able to put him on. Um, with a couple of minutes to go or maybe 20 minutes to go and actually have a bit of an impact off the bench. So there, that, that would definitely be a player that I would I would keep around and, uh, you know, not just kind of like discard quite easily. So, yeah, I mean, fairly nice stats. He is a whole player, 79 overall, can play DM, or AMF and CMF. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth a punt, I would say, if you do get him. I would say train him up and see what he turns into because he does have some fairly decent base stats. We've got Trippier up as well. So Trippier, offensive uh, fullback. Trippier's got unwavering form. Long throw, weighted pass, pinpoint cross it, low lofted pass, early crosser and long ball expert as his AI playing style. He's got long ball counter as well, which is at 80 um, because that's the formation that they're playing at the moment. 27 levels, 80 lofted pass, 80 set piece taken and curl. Um Nice speed, nice acceleration, fairly nice balance and stamina. Yeah, I think Trips could be a very good player. I think his standard card is fairly decent as well. Are you going to have him ahead of one of the more meta players or one of the more overpowered right backs? Uh, I think that's up to you, but I definitely think he's one of the picks of the pack as well, uh, especially with that unwavering form. And then we also have these three boys. So we're going to go through these fairly quick. And we are going to go over to eFootball DB as well and take a quick look at them because we do have a maxed out over there. So Botman is first up. Again, Botman has been a great player this season, I think, uh, for Newcastle. Uh, in terms of, you know, a future boy, a future guy that they can build around. He is a beast of a man and he has got unwavering form, interception, fighting spirit, aerial superiority and man marking. I would have liked to see Blocker if you want to have kind of a, a center forward or center back that you're going to be using. You need to have a lot of those stats if they're uh, or player skills if their stats aren't going to be top top drawers. So when we actually do go over to eFootballDB.com, we can see that he actually levels out at a 92 overall, and on top of that, he's got 66 acceleration, 69 speed, but he's got 87 defensive awareness, 88 tackling and aggression, and 90 physical contact. So. Yeah, I mean, it depends how you want to train him up. Obviously, we focused on physical contact to have that bit of an edge, have that bit of a kind of like shoulder shoulder barge um, kind of like there that we're going to be using on him to have him very physical, very aggressive when he wants the ball back. His header could be slightly better as well. But yeah, I mean, I think for this guy, his his stats definitely, I think at these stats fully maxed, I think we should have been able to get him like 90 offensive, defensive awareness maxed out, which would have been nice and give him a bit of an edge on that um compared to other center halves if that makes sense and then we also have uh maximin and bruno so yeah maximin's probably the pick from but we are going to check him out first so deep line forward which is a very overpowered play style with the runs that he makes even though he is a left midfielder he has that deep line forward that activates his playing style when he is kind of like playing ss or s uh, cf center forward um he's got standard form he's got a really really nice player skills as you would expect I think Maximin Leds is probably one of the best players in the game at the moment because he's super cheap. His standard version is super cheap. How does this version stack up? So a lot of you guys have been asking me, how does this version stack up compared to the standard one, right? So over on eFootballDB.com, we do have this version, which is a 90 left midfielder. Obviously, we're not really focusing on his finishing or his heading or anything like that, his passing, anything. We're literally just going to be using him as a, a prolific winger without being a prolific winger, if that makes sense. 90 speed, 96 acceleration, 97 dribbling, 94 balance, incredible stats, 91 tight possession, ball control, 87. So yeah, absolutely incredible, um, incredible card, I think, as usual. But when we take a look at his standard card, lads, there isn't much in this, right? So they've got the same pace. They've got the same acceleration, the same speed. Um, the standard card has slightly less dribbling, but he is better um, passing. So it's it's kind of like a slightly difference in it. I think the only thing that really controls the overall is the offensive awareness. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And a bit of the balance as well. So if you were able to pump in another few into the, into the dexterity attribute to upgrade that... I think you would see it there um, as one of the best ones. And then last but not least, we'll stick on this. We have a Bruno. 
Guimeres, who is Guimeres, who is 24 years of age. And this guy's got incredible stats when you look at him. Absolutely insane stats. He's got unwavering form, 81 acceleration, 75 speed, 76 offensive awareness, 66 defensive awareness. And then the ball control, dribble and tight possession are fairly decent with a whop and 95 low pass and 90 lofted pass. So again, if you are staying free to play, you can actually get this guy's card pretty identical. The only thing that's going to be really downgraded on his standard card compared to this Newcastle selection card is going to be the dribbling, which you'll see there. But speed, passing, strength, everything is going to stay pretty similar around the board. But yeah, if you do get Bruno, I think he could be could be a bit of a meta player because he has got insane stats, insane player skills, and he's got unwavering form as well. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying these. I'll talk to you later. Peace.